Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Cruelcom Keith here, and today we are looking at the worst video game ever made. It's Rise of the Robots. Let's take a look. So if you haven't heard of Rise of the Robots, um, what can I say about it? It was an absolutely terrible game. Um, but there was so much hype around it when it came out that back then, it came out, we, I first heard about it in 1993, it was released in 94. When we first heard about it, it was billed as the best game ever made. It was going to change everything. It was a beat em up, very like Street Fighter 2, and it kept referencing Street Fighter 2 and its market and stuff saying it's going to beat Street Fighter 2, it's, it's the future of video games. Um, it was everywhere. I remember picking up an Amiga magazine in 93 and I was blown away by the graphics. It was like just, I couldn't believe it. It was incredible. I was so excited by it. I, I showed my parents who didn't care. I wanted people to appreciate how excited I was about this game. So I followed the production over the, the next year or so. It came out in late 1994 for the Amiga. Um, Somewhere in development, a decision was made to release on nearly every console at the time. There were advertisements everywhere. It was just incredible. Um, but take a look. This is one early uh, preview of the of Rise of the Robots. And I think it's one Amiga. I'll tell you what the proper name is here. Um, it was a four-page spread, and it was speaking about how incredible this game is. How they're taking gaming to the next level. Um, they roped in Brian May, the guitarist from Queen, to do the music, and that was a big selling point of it as well. Um, what else? Oh, oh, the artificial intelligence. There's a part where they talk about the the enemy robots will adapt to your playstyle and, and change. So you you know they're they're, very, they're smart, and the AI is like nothing you've ever seen. And and that was not true at all. The AI was rubbish. Apparently, if you use the same move maybe five times or more, it will the the enemy robot will change and will slightly adapt to your style. But it came out in '94. I remember buying the big box Amiga 1200 version, and man, I went to my local shop and I was just so excited to have this game. I must have saved up so much money to get it because I remember walking back from the shop saying, "Hey, everybody, I've got Rise of the Robots," and nobody cared or knew what the hell the game was. And I knew in the first day when I put it in, oh, it came on 13 floppy disks as well on the Amiga. Every disk had like one of the, the enemy robots in it. I loaded it up uh, and straight away I thought this is not what I was expecting. This, I mean, it looks great. The cutscenes for, for 1994 were amazing. The graphics were, were cool. It was pre-rendered 3D and I think they were trying to sell it as a 3D game. And I think the limitations of the time meant they had to pre-render everything or the fact that they committed to so many different consoles. But I could tell playing it back in 94, this isn't right. The fact that I beat the game in 30 minutes confirmed that it was rubbish. All this stuff about AI and, and these new fighting techniques was absolute crap. All you had to do, on the Amiga anyway, I've seen some reviews saying the Sega Mega Drive was a difficult game. I don't know if they've actually played it or if they know how to exploit the weaknesses in it. But on Amiga, joystick to top right, fire, and just keep going straight through the game, through the hardest level and the end of level boss. You play as one, uh, cy the cyborg, I think is the name of the main character. You can't choose any other robot. You can't even jump over the enemy robot. You're always on the left side. Uh, you fight through a few robots who are planning to take over the world, a really mundane story. And then you then you fight the supervisor, the, the boss, the kind of liquid metal boss at the end. But, oh... It was so bad. Uh, but back to the marketing. This was everywhere. If you remember from the early 90s, the Bad Influence uh, UK video game uh, TV show, they even used Rise of the Robots as their opening credits for, for a few seasons, right until the end, as far as I can remember. It was advertised on TV, in movies. There was talk of movies coming out. There was talk of a tie line. Um, all before the actual game was released. And then the game came out and... Boom, it was just absolutely terrible. It got great reviews. Well, a mix of great reviews to bad reviews. Uh, some kind of dodgier magazines. I say dodgy as in their reputation was a bit... There was money changing hands. If you, give a, if you give some money, you'll get a good review. So this got high reviews in some magazines um, and low reviews in others. Take a look at this magazine. 
So this was Amiga Powers review and you can see they they totally didn't hold back um, some of the quotes this is a great read you can find this online uh, but they gave it 5% and said this is just terrible. Uh, so that's a bit of history about the game so I guess you want to see what it looks like how it plays of course you do come on let's take a look. Okay so here we are this is Rise of the Robots. Do you hear that piece of music playing? That is the only music in the game by Brian May of Queen and this was used so heavily in the marketing featuring music from Brian May and this is the only time you hear it in the menu screen. There's no music in the game itself. Like, very tricksy. Okay, so here we go. This is our, my first opponent. The cinematics are pretty cool. There's, there's no doubt about it, but um, when you're playing this on the Amiga back then, you're waiting nearly two minutes, three minutes for that few seconds to to install, um, which was quite painful every time you play it. But you can switch the cinematics off, which kind of seems a bit, what's the point of putting them there? Um, on PC and on the CD32 version, obviously you don't have that issue, but playing the way I did it on the Amiga 1200 with 13 floppy disks, it was painful. Okay, so as I said, uh, I'm just going to keep the controller in the top right hand corner and just keep pressing fire. And it worked for me back in the day. It worked it. as soon as I got it out of the box, I discovered that's all I need to do. Um, oh, this is cool. There's the graphics. Uh, 1994. It does look pretty cool. But then you start playing it. Prepare for combat. Here we go. Top right, top right. Oh yeah. Where's the AI? His AI should be kicking in about now saying, oh, he's using the same attack every time. There you go. Now they will land a couple of hits on you and I, I think later on um, they'll get me down to about three bars or something like that. I'll still win every single time. I don't even need to look at the screen. I just top right and attack, top right and attack, top right and attack, top right and attack. And that's it. So you can clearly see as well, I cannot jump over my opponent. And at the end of every uh, defeated uh, robot, you get this little picture. Gorilla Robot. This is the guy that was in uh, Bad Influence on, on nearly all their animations and, and um, intro screens. Okay, come on. Skip. God damn it. There we go. Gonna do the same thing again, top right, and just keep pressing fire. He's big and scary. But he's not any competition for me with my top right and keep pressing fire. Absolutely ridiculous. Now he changes on this one, I think. No, no, his AI is not working. There you go. Terrible. game ever made. Absolutely crap. But it's also the disappointment because I was looking forward to this, as I said, for a year. I was like saying to my mates, wait you see this game on the Amiga, never mind your Mega Drives and your Super Nintendos, the Amiga is king. Although the version on the Mega Drive and the Super Nintendo are terrible as well. Okay, we have got the Crusher, that was the most lengthy animation I've ever seen in my life. Ridiculous. Top right, 
Fire. Oh. Oh, he got the big... Oh, whoa. This is actually a bit of a challenge here. Come on, cyborg. Oh. Okay. Okay. It's gonna make me look like a liar now. Video on me. Oh, oh, no, 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 you not gonna hope. You're gonna die. Cyborg wins. Okay, <laughs> my, my whole video is in jeopardy now. Top right, pressing the button, top right, pressing the button, top right, pressing the button. Wins it every time. Every time. Every time. Come on. Ah, yeah, he's gone. His AI is, um, struggling. It's doing its best. But there we go. Every time. Every time. It was interesting that he got the middle belt and won it, but, um... Still the same, always the same. Cyborg always wins. It's the worst game ever made. All right, this next guy is pretty cool. He looks a bit like the cyborg. He's got a kind of a skull, a robot head. Yeah, awesome. And same again, top right, press the button. Better get this guy in the first two. Stupid guy making a liar out of me. Oh yeah. Oh, this looks even more ridiculous. There you go. So in between all these fights there was a ton of disc swapping and loading which I've edited all out because it's so dull but could you imagine playing it like this and then the worst part wait till I finish, wait till I kill off this guy okay yeah, there we go so I think there's one more robot there's a cool transformers looking robot actually you know what Let, let's take a look at him I'll put him on okay this guy I always thought he looked awesome, just totally like a Transformer. Yeah, he doesn't look as good in the kind of pre-rendered version, but still pretty cool. And again, 1994, we were like, wow. Until we played it. Here we go, usual, top right, fire, top right, fire, top right, fire, top right, fire. Will he even land the one hit on me? It's not looking like he will. No. Advanced AI. Advanced. Oh, he did. Oh, you little fucker. Okay. There we go. Same again. Did I mention it's the worst game ever made? There we go. Oh, oh, big kick there. Wow. same time as well ridiculous there you go so what happens now is you play you, you fight them all again all five of those robots again and then you meet the end of level supervisor boss at the end as I said absolutely the worst game ever made but there you go that was rise of the robots for a lot of people the worst video game ever made you may not agree with that but i'm sure after watching this video you can kind of see where people are coming from there was a sequel uh rise to resurrection which came it came out about six years later they fixed a lot of problems and it was a relatively okay beat em up and you could jump over the other your enemy opponent but it was pretty mediocre there was nothing really good about it 
and the fact that it was still connected to the biggest steaming piece of shit beat em up ever made meant nobody cared. Rise of the Robots sold something like a million copies because of the marketing um, crap around it. Making, you know, this is good, buy this. There was nothing like that for Rise 2 and it sold nowhere near that amount. Nobody cared. Like, it was just bleh. Okay, hope you liked the video. Leave a like. Please subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you on the next one. It's futuristic battle action and strategy as never before. Gamers play the role of a cyborg and take on droids in order of their technical sophistication. In a cinematic 3D arena with full 360 degree freedom of movement, Rise of the Robots features fighting moves conceived by a martial arts expert and VR inspired backgrounds designed by an architect. It's the first combat game to use artificial intelligence for advanced fighter complexity. Opponents actually learn from their mistakes and read your moves, making strategic decisions down to the last microsecond. There's never been robot opponents this lethal. There's Crusher Droid, Builder Droid, Soldier Droid, and the most fearless end boss to ever face down a cyborg, the Supervisor. Awesome five-round bouts are more than kick and punch. Multiple rounds build drama and excitement as gamers sweat every swing, every move. Rise of the Robots redefines the fighting genre and raises the ante on gamers with a futuristic motif proven in focus groups. It's another breakthrough in interactive entertainment from JVC. If you like that video and if you like what I do on the channel, please leave a like and please subscribe because it helps very much. Thank you.